Another day, another locals. Let's do this, boys. And synchro. Time to win it all, baby. Let's go. 30's about to start. We got here just in time. No one stands a chance. You better come at me with eight cards in hand because six is not enough, baby. Let's go. Get yeah, there. time for you to lose. That's what happened. Right. Last time we played, he was playing DD. I was playing the real pendulum. Actual pendulum. I'm DD God. Fuck DD. I I'm a man of God. I will never play DD. Jack comes up to me and says, last time I saw you, you were fat. No, no, no. I think there's something going on there. Like, <laughs> you still do. <laughs> there's not much to see. There's Hold it for one sec, bro. Yeah, so I uh, use something called uh, going to the gym. You wait, should wait, definitely wait, try it. What's, wait, what's that? Is that the mystic mind god himself? Yo, Nico, you winning today? Yo, you already know it, bro. What, what deck are you playing though? Pedro? I don't know, maybe. Then, then you have a high cast to win. Next round's about to start. I'm ready. Let's fucking go. Pen Synchro, baby. Locals time! Let's go! I'm excited, baby! We are back with some Sword Soul Pendulums! Let's go! That's right, you heard me there. Sword Soul Pendulums. Now this hand is very awkward. That uh, Lancia does hurt us here because we can't go Ordon. Bring out three tokens, make Yazi, make, make Taiye. Bring out Taiye. We couldn't do that. So we have to go for a Baron, Divine Strike. Pretty raw. Lancia did hurt us there, but Lancia Ogre. This is not bad. We have two strong negates here against DD. We should be fine. I would like to mention that. Look at those beautiful playmats. Look at those beautiful playmats. Every single outlet playmat has been sent out. Every single playmat has been sent out on the website. So everyone who's ordered it is coming very, very, very soon. And as for you guys who want to get your beautiful LH playmats, Toon playmats, we have 10 different other playmats. Check out TrivialGaming.com. It'll be the first link in the description. And for everyone that wants to see Master Duel, that's seeing this beautiful TCG content, make sure to check out right now the Patreon. Because on Patreon, we will be showing all Master Duel content, how to get better at Pendulums. Even TCG players could check that out too. We won game one over there. There wasn't much to see. It was Pendulum going first against two hand traps, putting up two negates, and was enough. Now, this is going to be the real test here. This is going second against a DD deck. So this is the real test. This is where champions are made. This is where you could remove the good decks and the bad decks. And let me tell you something, baby. Pandas, I'm so damn fucking surely, the new word I created, the best deck. Uh, it's not good. It's absolutely the best. So... Here, I'm going to show you guys what's going to happen. I changed up the angle a little bit here so you guys can see this surgical precision in action. I go Prosperity. I have Sphere Mode in my hand. Uh, I, so I searched Dark Ruler anyway. Sadly, I have a dead Sphere Mode, as you guys saw over there. I Dark Rulered him, and uh, things are looking quite good. My uh, rest of my hand, I pen these two. Needle Fiber. I get hit with the Veiler. I'm like, oh, man. Too many cards I had to use to stop him, and we, we just couldn't beat it. We really need him to have one extra monster. So that's a, a little downside little mistake of, uh but on me but you know what that's fine that's totally fine uh it's okay we're gonna want to know why it's okay because we're gonna win the next game baby very simple baby we're, we win the next game so here we're gonna go kepler we're gonna get contract out here we're gonna get uh the gate zero we're gonna pendulum here uh he hand traps us there the ghost ogre that was massive because uh we can only go into synchros right now so we summon out taiye uh bring out another one of these we're gonna summon out a shishao uh, she shot back to bring out long yuan long yuan is gonna put him in uh burn for 1200 and put up a baron and uh i popped my cup look i don't want him to get attacked where maybe there's like six seven eight minutes left in time so i didn't want him to just enter battle attack my kepler uh the gold soldier really hurt there the hand was kind of awkward i'm not gonna lie but at the end of the day we played through nibiru played through everything we're all good uh victory for the pen god let's go that was an amazing match one let's go against my boy abdul we did it great match dd is a tough deck guys dd is a rough deck it's a good deck every deck's trash except for pendulum yo jack i saw you pulled something like, like i was like my boy brandon like he was fucking there like i was there yo like, what'd you pull ulti equation bro ah let's go first pack entry pack you're entry insane pack. you don't need the door done exactly yeah what the fuck you can't lose to yo, alan you win i didn't win who's the better duelist though you're nico well, yo, let's read the bracket and find out. Ah, <laughs> oh, Nico, you lost. What happened to you winning, bro? No, I won. What? He won, he won, he won. Oh. Yeah, yeah, lose, bro. Let's go. Let's go. Baby. Yeah, I'm screaming, baby. He says Trip is screaming. Well, I'm screaming. Did you win? Yeah, of course. Let's go. 
Remember I told you we were going to go 4 0 the next time? That's today. You're going 4 0 today. You're going to whoop everyone in your path. Next round's about to start. Let's get it, boys. Next round. And let me tell you guys something. This is a deck that we've. That I personally cannot believe I haven't seen it yet in locals, but this deck is one of the most played decks and arguably a tier one deck right now that we're dueling against. But guess what? It don't matter. My hand, by the way, is super ass. You see that? I like uh, the second I saw this hand, I knew that, you know, it might be a time for a change. It might be time to get some endemians. I drew like three DD cards, three Zephyr cards, and none of them were Zephyrath. Absolutely awful. Like I, I couldn't believe it, dude. I was like, this, this is this is fucking horrible. But you know what? We're not going to give up because my opponent bricked as well. He's playing Prank Kid Brave Token and did not draw a Prank Kid. So he's going to go into deep E here. I'm like, that's all good because we're going to be able to survive. Uh, he's going to uh, pop both my scales and leave my big Zephyr. And we out there, I'm still bricking. I'm like, dude, like, that's it. I Like, we got to switch something with the deck. The deck is definitely insane. The deck is insane. It just, you do get weird hands where you draw like all DDs and all Zephyrs and you can't really pen summon because of their issues where they can't be scales. But that's okay because... Uh, we're not gonna die here with our big Zephyr Nui boy uh, protected by Zephyr Providence as well here uh, Finally, I drew, okay. Finally, I drew drew scales. We're good to go uh, Here I'm gonna go back to prosperity and I'm gonna look at everything I have here I have lots of options. I'm gonna go up for pen call because I have contract to get Lamia. I want to pen call away uh, He ends up popping that I'm like that's all good pendulum summon out everything and here he's fucked his droplets by just divine strike the droplets and now he, he, he's fucked here so we have a whole setup over here uh, where we could do basically anything we want. We put up Yazi. Uh, I'm going to do a very cool play here. If you guys pay close attention, I'm going to Yazi pop his DPE uh, to bring out my, my Taye. Now look, pay very close attention because this is about to be fucking absolutely epic. Uh, Taye and a token. Uh, here, I'm going to go into Shishao. Shishao is going to be able to add me this. Taye sent Adhara to the graveyard. I go Needle Fiber. Taya, Adhara is going to add me back a uh, card for Longyuan. I put Bozo into Baron. I make Chen Ging. And then I, uh, the second he summons guard, I'm going to activate the effect of Shisha to manage that in the DPE. And see you later, baby. Let's go. That is game for us. Now we're going to go on to game number two. Uh, we bricked really bad there, but guess what? We came back. And want to know why we came back? Because they're playing on an LH play map, baby. I already know what it is. I'm telling you, you guys got to get yours now. I literally attest all my incredible luck in this game to this uh, one play map. It's that broken. It's literally the best play map in Yu-Gi-Oh! history. Look at that shit. Ah, oh, almost sold out. So get yours now. Here he opens his full combo. Where he has Meow, he has Griffin Rider. I'm like, I, right, I, right. you do you, fam. You do you, fam. You keep summoning. Wanna know why it's all good? Because I got a deadly little lava golem. Ha <laughs> ha, let's go. So it's all good in the hood, baby. Let's go. So here, uh, he's gonna summon these out. I'm like, all right, I'm a lava golem, yo ass. And then at this point, I'm like, all right, let's see what else. The rest of my hand is not the best. Again, uh, there is, this is two hands in a row now where I'm just drawing a bunch of DDs and a bunch of. Like, I can't even pen summon out here properly. I'm like, dude, this is this is fucking insane. Uh, just too many Zephra cards, too many DD cards. And these cards are not real pendulums, you know? Like, all, all these Zephra cards I'm adding, af after you have one Zephra, every other Zephra is a waste. Every other Zephra is a waste of a card. And we get hit with D-Barrier. We had a cool play with Synchros, but... We got hit with D-Barrier, so there's nothing we can do. But too many fucking cards that are Zephras, man. And, and that's the issue with this deck. This is why I hated Zephra for a very long time. It's the fact that... When you draw just the one Zephyr, it's amazing. But when you draw like set four of them, it, it's just so garbage. So in the future, this is something we're gonna need to fix and, and uh, make better because when you draw too much of this, it's just it's not it's not good. Maybe we have to cut the Zephyr engine down slightly and the DD engine down slightly, and that's okay. This is game three, and there's two minutes on the clock, so I gotta go super fast here. Uh, I'm gonna go Zephyrat. I'm gonna try and set up a board and then long you on him. And uh, I know he's playing prank kids. So he's gonna have a chance to beat me with prank kid, but it doesn't matter uh, We set up our board here. I'm gonna go Baron to protect my plays uh, Lamia, I had to negate the ghost spell with Lamia so I could actually go into needle fiber Bring a tie then he hits you with Nibiru and we draw. Yo, he drew! Fuck! What a match. That was a sick match Yeah, Nib, ghost spell at the end. These guys saw that was close. But we couldn't pull off the victory. Draw. We gotta win the next two Yo, let's go. Yo, what do you think about our match, bro? Oh, it was sick. It, it was a fun match, bro. We both played two fun decks. Bro, next week, I'm coming here with Brave Token. Not prank kids, but Brave Token Cybers that we're talking about. Oh, boys. You guys don't know what's coming. It's going to be insane, baby. Let's go. Round three is about to start right now. We must win. We got to win, boys. No option for defeat. We must win. Let's go. Yo, Ryan, our rematch. Do you think you're going to beat me? Yeah. What? The? You're both playing the garbage ducks ever. I don't know what you're talking about. You're both playing DDs. Ah, so 
What's what? in your name? What's in your name? The best way to play pendulum. Uh-huh. That's what I fucking thought. After I beat you, Trash. I'm gonna beat you. Come through. All right. Money match, channel for channel. Password for password. Next match. Let's go. Let's go. Sorry, I can instantly tell by looking at this that it's kind of crooked. My bad, boys. Uh, but it's okay because what's not crooked is the greatness of pendulums. Here we're gonna go to terraforming, go Oracle Zephyr. And this is this is the hands I want to open, man. The hands like this is what I like to see. He Veilers. He also Veilers the Harmonizing. This is double Veiler that we're going to get hit with here. And uh, that's fine, though, because we have full setup. And I just going to see something very cool. We're going to have the end phase of Celestia. We have Counter Trap. Uh, something very cool. Uh, Zephyr Nui is a tuner because Zephyraxis would make Baron. And then we see it, save the Zephyraxis in the field because of Needle Fibers effect. So it's something that uh, opponents don't really expect. This Needle Fiber Synchro Summons. Uh, and I'm gonna bring a desert locust to discard a card bring a Shen Shen. So just like that through double Valor, We have uh, four interruptions through double Valor. Uh, the Baron the floor the counter trap the desert locust discard kind of like Omega and then a Shen Shen through double Valor. And you really got to take advantage of the needle fiber bro I think needle fibers effect is so damn underrated that people don't understand you literally get a free synchro summon on your opponent's turn Do you guys have, have any idea the absolute potential of of that like, like, like it's absolutely wild what you can do with that the simple fact that you could bring up potentially satellite warrior or any of that truly insane truly 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 insane here he goes gilgamesh and i learned something very important in this game i want you guys to pay close attention and this game is when i realized that my extra deck needs some work and i don't own all the cards i need you know otherwise it would have been way easier for me uh but i could have just like satellite warrior blow his board you're gonna see something i'm right right now in my hand i have uh, I believe Dark Ruler and Dino Wrestler. I believe, yeah, Dark Ruler and Dino Wrestler his trap. So, uh, and my hand's good. My hand's very good after that. My hand's broken. But for some reason, I just couldn't do good here because my extra deck is ass. And so I Baxia, he Veilers. Baxia and Yazi are my only real forms of clearing boards. And because I don't have a good extra deck, I don't have a fall solid order on combo. So I append this, all this out, and I still can't break his board. At this point is when I realized, like, man, we definitely got to switch something here because uh, Needle Fiber putting up a massive board. Like, we got to put in the whole Needle Fiber board on combo because we can't clear boards right now. I'm forced to actually crash a Siegfried with Shishou just to make space for Needle Fiber. That is not good, man. That is not good. And, and you know, I'm not very familiar with the, uh, pure DDs, uh, how it is now. Uh, I, I don't, exp I have to literally crash that to make space for Ordon. Uh, I, I don't know how good it could recur its uh, board and uh especially with uh, only one gil uh he already went through two gilgameshes i'm pretty sure they only play two i'm not sure they play three then i'm gonna do a cool play here i'm just gonna go zeta to get rid of that and uh ordon to pop i should have popped the fusion spell i don't know what the fuck i was thinking popping the contract spell because he's kepler I, and his scales are locked uh, I, so with his scales locked i thought he, he like this will be enough to stop him as, for me to at least survive one turn because i have four cards in my hand but Man, I definitely misplayed here. It was my mistake. So what I learned from this duel here is very simple. Uh, if you're going to... Uh, you can't let DD get all this plus. Because all the four cards in the field, you can get value from each of them. So going second against DD, if you're going to dark ruler them or whatever you want to do, that's totally fine. But you have to clear the board, dude. I don't know if this means in the extra deck you have to play some like block rose type of card or something along those lines. But we got to get more extra deck cards. Maybe a second Baxia. If I had a second Baxia, that shit would have been baby food. And uh, two Baxias could potentially be insane with a rank eight going second. Uh, man, I, I definitely kind of regret it because Baxias is not hard ones per turn. Here, uh, I, again, same thing. Uh, we lose the double hand trap here. Boom. I couldn't pendulum summon. All I had was a Kepler and pen call. Pen call got Ash. Kepler got Gamma. And that's it. So having cards like Zephraxi, look at the double contract, double Zephraxi. Ah, uh, guys, the Nib Ash Gamma got our ass. Yo, let's run it. Let's run it. Ah, we can't top, but that's okay. It was a sick match, and I love basic DD because it goes either way each game after side decking at least. Solid match. I'm disappointed in my game two. Game two was very winnable, but my extra deck was too bad for it. So I think we're gonna go. We're gonna switch the extra deck very slightly, very slightly, and uh, to be able to clear boards more, put up maybe double Baxia to help us clear boards because Baxia is not once returned for some weird, weird ass reason. But it was, uh, it was good games. You just gotta switch your extra deck, and that's how you gotta take locals. If you make a mistake or you find your extra deck or main deck is a little iffy, just change it. Just fix it for the next time. So the next time you will make that mistake. He's not wrong. He's not wrong. Listen to, to a knock. Knock is the king of locals. There's a crown in the back with his name on it. 
that I'm about to steal because we're about to play next round, baby. Let's go. Just finished the last round. We won. We are now X1-1, <laughs> sadly. It was a great match. Ended up winning against Sky Striker, DPE. Pen just best deck, baby. That's all I got to say. Yo, knock. My ba my battery no. died. My battery died so they couldn't see the game. What happened in the game? Bro, you actually totally destroyed me, man. Totally. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Cause I, it's because I'm Spanish. Yeah, yeah. You're yeah. Macedonian. Sorry, I got it right. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Yo, Ray. Yeah. Yo, Ray. I want you to know right now yeah. that I'm the best player in this entire room and it's not even close. I believe you after watching that nonsense. Ah, oh, let's go. Everyone's just giving you free wins, man. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Abdul, yeah, did you win? No. Oh. Bro, Abdul went easy on you, fam. Yeah, he went easy on me. Uh, you know, Abdul's world champion, right? Yeah, he whooped Ryan's ass for the title. I did. Yeah. Ryan's lost. Ryan, Ryan's in shambles right now. Do you have anything to say to Ryan You? Get your bread up, fam. <laughs> Ryan, you will have to answer this call out, call out the next time we see him at Game Nation. All right, boys, they're pulling an ulti confirmed. Right, I feel it. Yo, Mark, will this be an ulti? Let me see it. Yeah. You can't see it. You have to say. You have to say before you see it. You have to take a guess. I think it's scary. Fucking so token. Yo, at least you got Celestial, which is cool. And a token. Against me. I guess they'll use these with a brave token and Demian deck. Let's go. Last round is about to start right now, boys. So far, it's going pretty decent. We're not XO as we want to be. But nonetheless, we've been playing well. And I feel like we could have probably been X1. We could have been X01 if our extra deck was a little better. So that's okay. We, we found the problem. We found it and we fixed it. And now we know for the next tournament that won't happen. I'm just about to buy Brave Token Engine. That shit's hella expensive, guys. So make sure, guys, support the channel down below in the description because, man, I'm about to drop $1,500 in Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I'm about to play some Endymion with a bunch of spells with Brave Token, with Magician Souls Package, and even some Hand Traps. Uh, hand Trap Pendulums are coming, baby. And a bunch of based versions of Yu-Gi-Oh with a bunch of pile decks that I think is so good this format. $1,500 is a lot of money, baby. So make sure to go get your playmats down below. Check out the Patreon. Because I also don't just want to play Pendulums for all these locals. I want to play different decks, whether it be Pendulum, Eldritch, Cybers, everything. Oh, fuck Eldritch, but you already know what it is. Souls Package, different Magician, DPE Magician. I want to play different versions. And the only way to do that is to drop some cash, baby. So I'm going to do that. But make sure you guys got to support your boy down in the description below. And the best support, if you guys don't want to drop no money, the best support, smash the subscribe button, smash the like button. That is the best support at the end of the day. And let's get it. Last round's about to start. Let's win this. Let's go. I face Allen. He's going down, baby. Last match of the day. We are X1-1. If we win this, we I'm pretty sure we still top because it's five rounds. So we just need to win this game. We lose the dice roll against Drytron. And even though Drytron does not put up Herald anymore because obviously no Ava, it's still it's one of the best DPE Scythe turbo decks. It's one of the best decks that could put up DPE Scythe because no matter what you hand trap, you still get hit with DPE Scythe. And the, uh, the, the new version they have is like they put up negates with the DPE Scythe. So it's like DPE Scythe, Bear, and Appaloosa, stuff like that. Uh, so game one, we're not going to be able to win here, obviously, because any deck game one against DPE Scythe, we're going to lose. I set four spells trying to bluff that I'm playing Elish because I have an Elish playmat. That's some big brain plays, especially another reason why you guys, even if you're playing a fucking monster deck, yo, go buy an Elish playmat right now. Literally just set four going second set spells that with the Elish playmat. I think you're playing Elish. You're lit. Uh, here I go. Moye effect. Uh, Moye is going to bring out Shishao. Then he's going to get me Long Yuan. I'm going to bring out Long Yuan to make a Baron. I'm going to get Contract at this point. Uh, contract's gonna get me a low scale. I'm gonna pen call away my extra duelist alliance. I'm gonna pendulum harmo celestial oaf dragon. I'm gonna add a then phase with, Cel with celestial. I'm gonna go needle fiber, make lamia, uh, make yazi, baron pop yazi. That makes taye. Uh, at this point, I don't have satellite warrior in my extra deck. Otherwise, uh, this play could be different, could have been slightly different. Uh, I'm gonna go into drag out here to stop a spell of trap. He goes field spell fafnir. Nova, I negate Nova, and he droplets my ass into oblivion. I fucking hate droplets. I actually, I'm starting to think I should maybe end on an end board of Herald, because if you end on a board of Her Herald, droplets cannot be used. So Herald uh, stops the biggest way that this board is can be broken. Uh, he forgot about needle fiber to negate that, so I bring on Cheng Ying, 
And I know a Jarjan extra deck, uh, the only way that they could out Cheng Ying is with Natasha. That's the only way they could out Cheng Ying uh, or Unicorn. There's no other way they have to out this card, especially with how much cards are going to be banished eventually. So uh, my goal here is I'm just hoping he doesn't, uh, Natasha, or maybe doesn't play Natasha. Uh, he's playing a lot of Megalus as well here. Uh, he go, brings out a lot of cards. He goes Baron, summons out a bunch of Megalus. I'm not familiar with the Megalus. Eventually, he's going to pop a bunch of my cards. I can she shout. He already entered battle phase, so my Shengin was already used. He pops my whole field, summons out Dagda, summons out Natasha. He cannot actually use Natasha because Cheng, uh, he already dropped Zeta's attack by 1,000, and Cheng Ying lowers his attack as well. So he's not actually allowed to go into the Natasha because uh, the attack was too low near the end. So I have a turn here to do something. I go Prosperity, and I'm thinking, okay, I just need to get a scale. Here, I instantly regret not searching White Wing. I really needed a scale, man. I really fucking needed a scale to pen summon properly and make Dweller. I could clear his board and go Dweller, and then I win the duel. I would capital get contract. Uh, I was just out of gas at this point, guys. Uh, I was out of gas. My prosperity uh, hurt hurt me. Uh, there's just no cards to banish. I probably should have banished face up uh, magicians. Uh, I go contract lap. That's a big mis misplay there. Not banishing my uh, face up extra deck pendulum monsters uh, probably hurt us. Uh, here we're gonna go into some Zephyr plays, and I just can't pen summon. Like I just don't have enough. That that's the biggest issue I found here is that uh, the issue with a lot of the Zephras and DDs is they're not actual pendulums. Zephyrath is only actual scale, but DDs like they don't you don't actually get scales here. And sadly, that was the end of it. But it's okay because uh, he still has to out the Cheng Ying. He pops everything and completely forgets about Cheng Ying's effect. So Zephyr Providence protects. I banished the Natasha. We're still alive here. We're still fucking alive, baby, because he banished by accident, so I could banish the Natasha, and we're, we're good here, we're good. Then he fucking draws triple tactics talents off the Celestial. I'm so sick. I'm sad. Oh, my goodness. I played Yu-Gi-Oh for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember the last time I was sacked that hard. <laughs> this was so calculated. I was thinking, it, like, how do I lose this game? Like, oh, Unicorn, no. Access. I'm like, there's no way he has space for Unicorn as with Access. Like, he could be... I'm like, I need to get rid of Gamma. Like, uh, it's the only way I lose this duel. Uh, I calculated the whole Exa deck. Uh, like, I didn't care what he drew. Like, like it doesn't matter what he drew off Celestial. DP and DPE, I could have dealt with the next turn. I don't care about DPE. Very sad, but you know what? It's okay. This is Yu-Gi-Oh. This is Yu-Gi-Oh. So uh, guess what? We're gonna get some Brave Token card. It's all good. It's all good. You lose, you win some, you lose some. You win some, you lose some. But it's all good. We're still at locals right now. So I'm gonna go get some sick ass Brave Token cards. And next time we're gonna play Brave Token and Demian. Let's go, guys. Disappointed we couldn't win today. Uh, I felt the deck was still very good. Extra deck does need some changes. I'm feeling it, baby. We're going to get the Brave Token engine and play some Endymion Brave Souls. Let's go. I'm hella excited. The next vlog is going to be absolutely insane. You guys cannot miss that one because we're going to play some crazy ass decks. You don't want to miss that. We're about to head out no locals now. I can't believe I hate losing. I hate losing, but I'm really winning because I got the best community in the planet, baby. I fucking love you guys. If you guys got this far, smash the subscribe button, smash the like button. Yo, Nico. Pen best deck. Huh? Pen best deck. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> Solid day, you know. We couldn't win, but at least we had fun, baby. No, fuck that shit. Baby, I wanted to fucking win. Ain't no fucking uh, prize consolation prize, none of that shit. If my child ever comes to me and says, "Hey, daddy, I want to go to shut the fuck up. I don't want no consolation prize trash." If you ain't first, you last, baby. But at the end of the day, at least our deck did perform well. It just uh, missed player two plus deck choices, so that's okay. Slight deck choice we fix. No misplays next time. We clap them up. It's foggy as hell here, but my vision ain't foggy. And what I do know is that Pendulum next week on Friday, not even next week, two days from now is going to be insane. My deck's going to be wild. We did not get the Brave Token engine as I hoped, but we did get a bunch of hand traps. We got Ash, Ogre, Imperm, a bunch of hand traps that we're going to be able to throw into our deck and prepare ourselves for every single matchup we face on friday so we're still missing a brave engine and uh we uh, also illusion of chaos so it's a little expensive a, a few cards we need to try and get but that's all right because i'm going to put a huge order online right now to get them and uh we're going to be ready in a week or so our deck could be absolutely insane
it is kind of creepy how it's foggy. Uh, if there's <laughs> this is creepy, but guess what? One was creepier than this fog. Every fucking Yu-Gi-Oh duelist that doesn't shower, fucking shower, boys. Anyways, I love you guys. Make sure to smash subscribe and smash the like button. Check out the Patreon down below. I'm about to drop fucking a grand plus on Yu-Gi-Oh cards to get you guys different decks. Not even for me. I don't think I love pendulums. I'll play pendulums forever until the end of time. But I want you guys to also always be entertained of different decks. So I want to get 15 different meta decks. Gonna cost me a hell of a lot more than a thousand dollars but to play different decks so if you guys want me to play any deck of your choice let me know in the comments i'll gladly build it especially if i have a majority of it and then i'll play the next locals vlog and locals vlogs are back every fucking four days five days a week guaranteed every time there's locals into one i'll be here uh to give you guys awesome pendulum content i love you guys i'll see you guys in the next video peace